Hi, Ralph here, Noisebusters. Um, today we go into part three of the Bitwig Basics, and I'm gonna show you how to load um, clips which are saved in the in the library, and uh, how to automate some parameters and then resave the whole um, the whole clip again. So what's cool on Bitwig actually, if I choose something here like like a clip, then it it loads the plugin in the background, so you see you can hear how it was originally made. So if I go here, there must be some delays happening, and um, also the synthesizer. If I track this in, it loads. Um, oh, there was also a plugin which is not there anymore. So, oops, not deleting the whole thing. But um, so <coughs> here we see there's a dub station plugin loaded. So Bitwig saves all the effects and change you put after the instrument into the library so for easy recall um, so we have a listen to this one cool so we have here three buttons one is um, opening like a special edit window for the polysynth here if it's a VST it opens the plugin itself and then you have macro controls here and different to other doors that you have multiple pages and you can also assign new ones here and you can uh, also save it into the instance of the plugin so they every time you open the, the instrument again you will have all your macros saved or you can also only um, store it into the preset itself so you have two two options here um so i do like a small automation thing i just play this and press this button here so it's um writing any automation inside the clip so let's try that play it to the filter section, turn some knobs. And you see, and here that the recording is working and you see here the two parameters I um, I changed some stuff it's showing here in the list and what's cool here also now I can drag and drop this back into the library and then it asks you for saving it so automation whatever and I save this so if I drag this in again automation melody I drag the whole thing in it will have the automation saved with it with the clip that's very cool and handy and um, That's basically it for this video. So if you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe to my channel, please, if you like it. And um, see you next time.